This is T12. There's another one. May I do this one for you, sweetie? I'm going to just do a little one here, okay? All right, here I go. Got it. She growled that one. That one was tender. Yeah. Did you hear her growl a little yeah, bit? Yeah, I could feel it. She made a grumbly noise. Thank you for letting me get that. I'm sorry if it freaked you out. Girl. Okay, I love you. So we have Prudence here today, and how old is Prudence? 14. So Prudence is 14 years old, and the breed, do you know? Domestic medium hair. She's got a little bit of a smooshed in face, so there might be something. Okay, so, so she medium hair. Um, miniature gray lioness is what I call her. A miniature gray? Lioness. Lioness. Great <laughs> name for her, and she's gorgeous. So she was diagnosed with something called ataxia, which I'll explain in a minute. But how old was she when you got I her? I took her off the street when she was about a year old. Okay, so she you rescued her. Yep. Yay. Yeah, yeah. And now she's 14, so you've been with each other a long time. And from what I heard, she kind of runs the house, right? Mm -hmm. She's the boss. She's the boss. She's the boss of everything. You're so cute. You're so beautiful. But she has some problems, right? Um, they're neurological in nature, typically. It's called ataxia, A-T-A-X-I-A. -A and ataxia is an incoordination in the nervous system. And it can come from different parts of the nervous system. And depending on where it comes from, uh, you'll have different presentations, you'll have different causes. And I'll, I'll briefly go over a little bit of that. Um, I also um, made a couple of notes to stay organized. But um, what did you learn in the beginning? Like when you brought her to a vet, what did you find? So first she's walking funny, yeah. right? Uh, and the, now you can be up on her. The, the beginning problem really was with her front left paw, which we think was probably dislocated at some point when she was mm -hmm. living on the street. And that's caused her varying amounts of pain from not being able to put weight on it to limping a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then at a certain point, she just was very unsteady on her back legs. She'd go try to walk up and down the stairs to the bed and she'd be really wobbly. Mm -hmm. Uh, having difficulty laying down. Uh, the, the vet did some x-rays and uh, the most uh, recent that we went to thinks that she has some degenerative uh, spine disease. Okay, so that's perfect explanation. Um, a couple of little things I wanted to let people know about ataxia. And remember I, I opened it with it's an incoordination within the nervous system. There's different categories of causes. One is reception. And peripheral reception is really, it's the body's unconscious awareness of placement of a limb, perhaps. So do you, do you ever remember the drunk driver test mm -hmm. where the policeman might have you get out of the car? This is not a personal story. I'm just saying we all have heard of this type of test. And you close your eyes and you see if your fingers can touch each other. And if they miss you have, they should be able to touch. So when you drink alcohol to a, a level of toxicity, it temporarily your appropriate reception and you don't have coordination of being able to have unconscious joint placement or in a cat's or a dog or a horse, they can't tell when their foot is touching the ground. So they might start injuring that foot or the, the foot might just drag or they'll lose hair on the back of their knuckles of their of their paw. Um, on a horse it might be worn out incorrectly. In extreme versions of that it's called hypermetria which creates a goose step where you'll see the animal go mm -hmm. like that. Um, we see that in a horse with string halt uh, which is I have a video uh, with a horse that I worked with was string halt. I didn't cure anything. It's just a horse I worked with. Um, another cause could be a vestibular abnormality where it's either coming from the brain stem or the inner ear. And it's causing, you know, the, 
it's going to cause an imbalance that way because it would you would be like an inner ear disturbance and it could cause something called vestibular syndrome uh it changes movements we might see head tics we might see uh twitching we might see uh an incoordination but overall with all these type of ataxias we're seeing someone move with a drunken motion um they just can't coordinate the ability to put their paws or their feet or their hoofs in the right spot. Another area that it could affect is the cerebellum part of the brain. And that part of the brain has to do with fine motor movement and coordination. And so when that's off again, you do, just don't have that coordination of movement. Um, in little Prudence's case, she's had left paw problems. She has tenderness down the back. The other cause, especially with the proprioceptive one, the, the placement that I said in the beginning, um, very often is a spinal cord lesion, which could be a bulging disc, which a chiropractor could help, uh, could be a misalignment, it could be um, a tumor, it could be a stroke, it could be a bleed, like a brain stroke bleed into the spinal cord, it could be a disrupted nerve uh, that affects the spinal cord. and so. Today, I'm going to do just a very gentle checkup. I'm going to look for misalignments. I'm going to see if we can find any of, especially upper cervical atlas, going to the left paw, right? Um, because that's the affected side. So we might find a left atlas. We're going to look for it. If it's there, it's there. If it's not, we move on. Um, we're also going to just look at the limb carefully and gently. We have to be very gentle because she's older and she's not used to me at all. And then I'm going to come slowly down the spine, palpating very gently from head down towards the tail, looking for any spot that might make her cringe and indicate a tenderness or an upset of the spinal cord level. And we'll just see if that shows up. And then we're done. It's really not a long adjustment because cats won't let you work on them very long. And then we'll get started. But I just wanted to give a little briefing on that. And we'll just see if she lets me work with her. She, she might protest, okay. but she will. So hi. Look at your cute face. Can you see her face up close? Okay. She's making a little cute face. So one of the things I always like to do with animals, I either do it uh, verbally or, or otherwise, is I just ask for permission. So can I work with you today? How do you feel about that? And they know what I mean. They're, they're saying, am I being respectful? So you have to be always be respectful of your patient and even more so because she didn't find me on YouTube or anything she just came in because of you right <laughs> so the first thing I'm doing is I'm gently just palpating up around the occipital cervical area which is the base of the skull and the very top bone called the atlas and now I'm gonna if she lets me wiggle my fingers in gently and she definitely does have a tight left atlas. So the atlas has little wings or transverse processes, and the left wing is pushed up towards the skull, creating mm. a tightness. And this part of the spine will create a lot of pressure in the whole nervous system. So it's a very gentle adjustment because she's so tiny and fragile. And so I'm gonna, I'm right here on the wing of the left atlas, and I'm gonna laterally flex a little, Got it. Okay. We give her a second and she might lick a little bit because I saw she licks sometimes or she opens her little mouth. So we're gonna get down low and see if we can see her little face come up. And she's moving her lips a little bit. Okay, and she's taking it in. But now I have to recheck my work. So I'm gonna go back in and see if that space is a little better. It's a little better, I'm gonna be honest, it's not as much as I wanted, so I might try a different angle and reset it. So I feel like 30% improvement on the spacing I was looking for. I erred on the side of going too gentle because you could always go back, but you can't undo over adjusting. Mm -hmm. you, do you know what I mean? Oh yeah. Yeah, so I'd rather do two soft ones than one big one where I hurt her and she now doesn't trust me and doesn't want me to work anymore. I'm an old lady like this. Correct. So actually it's moving pretty nice, but it's still just a little high. 
Got it. That one moved. So what do you think of that? Are you able to get her, like, go down really low and shoot right at her face? <laughs> okay, she's such a sweetie. She's a good girl. Okay, there. The space is there now. Okay, so now I'm going to come down. The rest of the neck feels nice. So now I'm going to come down at the th thoracics. And let me show you. Do you mind putting your arm out like this for me? So I'm just like this soft. Mm, that's super soft. And think about it. I, I don't know how to read Braille, but I'm told that if you push too hard, you can't read anything. Mm. And what I learned is sometimes the softer touch you feel the most. And if you just mush it, everything blends together and you can't really feel. So now I'm here at T1, 2, 3, T4, T5. I'm on the spinuses, T6. Ooh, a little bit at T7, so I'm going to adjust that one. Here we go. Got it. Ooh, Good that went girl. so easy. I just felt that slip right in. Yay. Hey, is that okay? Okay. Thanks for saying hello again. All right. I'm coming down now. I'm at thoracics. Lower thoracics. Okay. This is T12. There's another one. May I do this one for you, sweetie? I'm going to just do a little one here, okay? All right, here I go. Got it. She growled that one. That one was tender. Yeah. Did you hear her growl a little yeah, bit? Yeah, I could feel it. She made a grumbly noise. Thank you for letting me get that. I'm sorry if it freaked you out a little bit. Little girl. Okay. Aww. You are so pretty. Isn't she? It's not just me then. <laughs> You're doing a good job, Mama. Okay, now I'm down into the lumbars now. It's brown again. Because this is tender down here. When you pet her, is there ever a spot that just always makes her wince or you can't really tell? I just don't even attempt it okay. down here. We stuck to this area. Yeah, because it's tender. I I did notice, I, I pet her a little bit yesterday, I did notice that she... Okay, now I'm at the sacrum. And her sacrum's a little high on the left, so I'm gonna do a posterior left sacrum, where the sacrum is tilted a little high on the left. So we, we call it sacral base posterior left. And it's right here. May I do this one for you? It's gonna feel good, it's gonna help your movement. Was it? Did you see her do a big old you see, yeah. mouth stretch? <laughs> That's what that was. Okay. Mother, we're not quite done okay. yet. Okay, I'm almost done. That was just about we're it. Not quite done yet. The spine is done. Is it? Oh, good. Yeah, I did that part already. I I love you very much too, but we're gonna we're gonna keep doing this. So that one was that was a really ten, tender spot. That was a tenderoni spot. Yeah. I would love to look at her front left if she lets me. She will, she will. But let's give her a second. You know, if you rush animals, remember, she's 14 years old with, with some chronic pain. Uh, she has some nervous system uh, disconnection where she doesn't know why her body won't coordinate. And... So she's, uh, you know, I just moved a really tender spot. Awesome. I'm proud of the way it went though, because I, I, I just went, it just slipped right in. It was beautiful. That's great. So let's just give her a second. Let's go back onto her face. Little face. I might actually look at her leg while she's on you. Yeah, that sounds good. Even when Do you we, want me to get up and? No, no, it's perfect. I'm just gonna pick up this leg a little bit and I'm just gonna touch the leg lightly and I wanna get down to the paw. And I'm gonna feel the little joints of the paw. And I'm on the posterior aspect, so I'm like I'm here now, pushing in between these little sections here. Watch what I'm doing with the camera. You know, and I'm just doing this now. And then I'm gonna wiggle each finger. Come on. And so that's the, yeah, the right, but she has the yeah, left. Okay. There. So I get the left one up. She yeah, let me have okay. it a little bit. Now she let's see if she, she bites bite. me. I don't think she'll bite you. Ooh, it's tender. 
Okay. Can you feel how lumpy it is? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a little off. It's weak, too. Yeah. So it's, it's not, it doesn't have good muscular tone. Mm -hmm. But it hasn't been used properly probably her, most of her life. Yeah. Mama, I know, I know. Okay. I know. So I, I do know. see a little thing at the elbow, so I'm going to adjust that. Okay, may I get your elbow next? Okay. Boom, elbow, got yeah. it. I'm going to do... Yeah. Oh, that's the tender okay. joint. One more. Yeah, I got gotcha. Got it. Good girl, you're doing good. And got it. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. We got them all. Okay, so that part's done. Good Let me just check. Good there you go. So now I'm going to hold this spot on her shoulder, which is just a muscle knot. So basically I'm in here on the deltoid. And you'll start to see her calm down now because this muscle knot will relax her. Meaning as I massage the muscle knot, it will and elicit a, re a stress relieving response. You see, well, watch her, watch her face. You're gonna see this when you watch it back. Yeah. And take a breath. We're gonna both breathe for her, okay? okay so we're gonna yeah. take a breath in. Everybody watching, take a breath too. <sighs> Good, and she'll respond to our breathing. Let's do another breath, okay? And I'm still holding this muscle knot. And I'm almost done with it because it already released. Let's breathe one more time together, okay? Big breath in. And blow it out. Good girl, okay. Mama Bear. What do you think of that? Good girl, Pussy. Did you like that? Good. All right. She said, "Wow." <laughs> Hi. She's a pretty old. Thanks bear. for letting me work with you today. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're so such a great, beautiful so cat. Pretty. You're so pretty. So we're all done. Thank you. So you let us know how she does. Mm -hmm. And um, if you're watching um, still to this point, you know, leave in the comment what you think of her. She's so pretty and she reads all her comments. So let her know how pretty she is. She's a good girl. All right. Thank you so much. And I enjoyed uh, doing this one today with you. Thank, thank you. you. And thank you thank for you so letting much, us girl. do this video. Do see a little